Hey, Miles. Um, actually, yeah, I, th I think you're on the right track with um, using HashMap. I think the problem is, um, um, you know, is, uh, there's other problems with it. Um, the basic difference between um, something that's that's a, a map and something that's a set. So a map is basically um, has has two bit uh, pieces. The main way to think about it is it's like a, a dictionary in Python. If you're familiar with Python, there's a um, a key that you use to look things up, and then there's a um, the object that you grab using the key. So the idea is that instead of using uh, um, an index like you do with say an array list with a list, right? You use a um, you know you get item number seven out of the list. With a map, you can actually use a word and like you can use a string or, or really any object as a key and tie the object to that to that key. With a set, any kind of a set um, is just a, a, a bunch of objects that can that have to be unique. You can't put the same object twice into a set. So it's like a, a set in math kind of in that way. The, the hash bit just has to do with um, uh, you know how how information is um, kind of stored internally. So um, the the main important distinction for for you is you know the map versus set thing. But actually, I think map is a good uh, choice for you here because um, you want your um, you know you're going to be passing in these command words, and you want to use the the word as a lookup to to get the item that you want. So um, what I'm seeing in this compile here is um, incompatible types. So you have this what, and I think this is what you want. Picked up items you want to be like have a string as your key, so the name of the item, say and then the actual um, item object itself. So what you need to do as far as this particular error is uh, instead of saying string comma room over here you want to say string comma item. So let's change that T M. and then what happens? Let's see, then we have this incompatibility here in your take because um, we're trying to remove item with a string and actually uh, remove item what does uh, remove item ask for in room I think let's see remove remove item actually wants a pointer to an item so what we need to do then here what that means is that we need to use this um, string as our key to find the item to see if the, if the player has it, right? So um, ah, so maybe I see. So you're so right, right, right. So you're taking it out of the room and um, giving it to the um, player, right? So let's see what, what do we have in the room. Do we have a hash map in here? Sweet. So we have a oh okay oh I see. So we have a hash hash map of the room, and we have a hash set of items. Let's see. Let me think about this. I'm looking at another uh, solution I got over here. Yeah, you know. Hmm. I think you want to consider actually doing a hash map in here uh, for your items. So what would that look like? And then that way you can um, uh, 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 uh. 
That way here, then you can use um, item to take as a, um, a key into the um, current room. So I mean, I, I mean, you could also like, you know, loop through your um, set of items. Because you, but see, so here you'd be passing a string rather than an item object, though. So right here you want, if you want to be able to pass an object, yeah, I think what I would do is. I think what I would do is try um, making this a hash map. You know what? Let me let me do some thinking on this, and I'll um, put together the next video. But but um, for now, yeah, I think that the trick is going to be making this into a um, a hash map.